Hey guys, it is Saturday and we just pulled up on one. I can look around the corner and I can hear the condenser running. I think she said it wasn't cooling. So let's go in and check it out. Stay tuned. Oh, it's okay. Yeah. So, um, yeah, they're both running. Air's coming out, and it's not quite as bad as the living room. It's like our bedroom's in the back. This one is because, as y'all can see right here, I don't have much room. The thing don't sound good. This is R22. I'm not sure it's R22 that's in it. This might help me figure that out. about that for R22. Once you're um, experiencing like some rooms were warmer than others, is yeah, that right? back rooms are warmer. Uh, it's still not as cool as it should be here in the living room. Uh, but it's not, you know, as cool as it should be compared to what we're putting on the uh, on the indoor panel in there. Um, Is it not making it to the temperature that you right, set it on? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Hmm. All right, um, I'm gonna check a few things. I'll be right back. Okay. All right, this is Mo99. Ten degrees sub cooling, fifteen degrees super heat, and he's complaining that 
it's not satisfying the thermostat. So let's go in and check things. It was 73 on the thermostat instead of 73. All right, these are my pressures. Still got 1.8 degrees superheat. That's my temp drop. It's actually going up. Excuse me. I'm saying 76 degrees coming out of that. All right, we're checking that one. Supply is reading 76 degrees. Hmm, something is major wrong. I can feel airflow. Yeah, but that ain't working. That ain't working. I'm checking to see if we got a heat strip stuck on. my blower relay no power no power okay to show y'all what I was testing first I tested on this and I got 14 16 amps that's a wire going to your heat strip and then I tested on this one that goes from here to your blower relay which is right here and I was getting like 15 amps on that one and if you look down here that is all burned up that's because these two wires have melted together these two right here which is causing voltage you go from here to here and back feed this heat strip so we are replacing that relay all right this is a 9340 relay so I'm gonna mount it right here all right let me move this just a little bit this is our low voltage right here that's my yellow have us a our two commons right here oops I bent it put our two commons right there all right so now this is going to act as our blower relay all right I'm going to try to show you everything this wire right here is this one that comes off the heat strips that's going to be for our normally closed so it comes up and it goes right here this is our power wire for our blower motor this is normally closed and this is normally open I was like I gotta work on that all right so my power wire for my blower motor if you look, they're using this one right here that is blue. This 
black and this red right here are unused. So we're going to take our blue and put it right there. And now this one needs to be power all the time. If you look right here. It's welded in there. Let me get that out. So this is power all the time. And this this end goes over here to power constantly from the transformer. So now this board is only acting as a holder for these and for the fuse and we might take the fuse out. As y'all can see here, my temperature difference is now 11 degrees. I got all this other stuff hooked up outside. I just turned it back on so it's gonna equalize all right. And this is gonna increase slowly. As y'all see, it's slowly increasing. So we're done here. I do hope y'all enjoyed that video. It was a simple fix for what results in a major problem. If you enjoyed, how about like and subscribe? And I'll catch you on the next one.